Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Haplo. Who are you? Why, I'm seeking for work. I've got no time to deal with a former, so I hope you plan on rolling up your sleeves. Why do you assume I'm looking for work? You humans tend to avoid us, unless you're looking for work. Humans are always complaining that their lives are so difficult. Those who want it a bit easier come to us. It makes sense to me. If I had the choice of living with barbarians, hunting my food every day, or working for a stable, civilized people, I'd take the work. Now the question is, are you willing to? Work? You've got to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Either you start working or I want to see your back as you walk out that door. What will it be? Of course I'll give you a hand. I'm glad to hear it. I'm so behind just now that I would welcome anyone's help, even from a human refugee. The king has decided to throw a party with his usual two-hour notice. Get over to the counter and start kneading that dough. Let's see if you can handle that task before we move you on to anything more complicated. I'm worried about the children. I don't have a problem with them playing together, but the royal prince has begun to join in. There are human children in that group. You watch, nothing good can come of that. No offense, you understand. Anyway, I've saved the worst for last. There's a human adult out there. He's talking with the children putting all sorts of ideas in their heads, ideas about all of the races living together, treating each other as equals. Can you believe it? Rumor has it that he's a wizard. A child described some of his spells and they're like nothing we've ever seen. In fact, the spells weren't even similar to any of those cast by the humans. Either this human is the most powerful to come along, or he's a member of a different race entirely. Wouldn't that be exciting? Maybe the child was exaggerating. You know how imaginative they can be. Of course, that's true. Those children can come up with some wild ideas. Still, it would have been exciting. It must be bug season again. Those terrible insects are such a bother. Every time I make something sweet, they show up, seemingly out of nowhere. On one occasion, I was actually stung by one of them. I was in bed for a week. These petals should do the trick of keeping them away today, but this is my last plant. 
I'm going to have to get the children to start harvesting the stinkweed again. What was that bug? Their hives appear during every harvest season. The insects that live in them usually leave us alone, unless they are angered or they smell something sweet. That drives them crazy. I always keep some stinkweed around, just in case. Why does the flower drive off the insect? As much as the bugs are drawn to the sweet smells of my cooking, they are repulsed by the smell of stinkweed. Actually, stinkweed isn't all that bad until you crush the petals, but then you'd best be as far away from it as you can get. Where do you find that yellow plant? I'm not sure. The plant grows wild in bunches, but it's difficult to find. I have all the children out searching for it. And since I reward their finds with sweets, the plant is in high demand. Whenever it's discovered in the wild, the children return with as much as they can carry. They practically drool over that patch growing on the nearest tree, but no one can get to it. May I have one of those cakes? Absolutely not. I'm preparing these cakes for the king's party. You mean it's going to smell like that in here all day? I think I'm done with this dough, you see? All nice and needed. Well, you've done a pretty poor job on the dough, but I don't think I'm going to get much better out of you. Leave them. I don't blame you for wanting to get away from the stink weed. Well, aren't we a pretty little thing? No, we are not a pretty little thing. How condescending can you get? Do you know anything about this human wizard the cook is talking about? Yeah, he's fun. In fact, my friends and I are meeting him tonight in the secret place. Could you show me where your secret place is? Why should I show you? You're not my friend. You're just another big person. Boogie moogie doogie. I've never actually watched a human go insane. Somehow, I thought it would be less weird. What game are you playing? I'm playing hop around. Since my doll only has one leg, she can't walk, so she hops. Since she doesn't have a head, she can't see where she's going, so she bumps into everything. It's not a very fun game. She's not a very fun doll. Is that your doll? What's her name? If you can call it that, her name is Ugly. It used to be Millie, but she had a hard life. She's not Millie anymore, just Ugly. Maybe I should call her No Fun, too. But don't you love your doll? Would you love a doll like this? It's just a collection of rags, but I don't have anything else to play with. Do you always stare like that? It's creepy. No, you're 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 creepy. Not much of a talker, eh? I'm not supposed to talk to strange men. And you're about as strange as they come. Ah, but you're talking to me. Yeah, well, I'm not supposed to do a lot of things. Stay out of my way, kid. I'm working. Well, me and Ugly are working too. So you stay out of our way. Thank you.
You're nice. I like you. You have to meet my friends. Come on, let's go. I didn't think you'd ever get here. Come on, let's go. It's through here. These are my friends. That doorknob down there is the prince. I guess he finally got up enough courage to go after the golden staff. He's been talking about it long enough. It doesn't look like he made it very far, though. Hello, sir. Could you help me off of this ledge, please? Don't tell anybody. My father would be so angry. Who's your father? I'm the royal prince. My father is the king. Don't think you can take me hostage, though. My father would find and kill you before he'd pay anything. It looks like you've already trapped yourself. You're correct. I think I might have overestimated my climbing skills. I'm lucky this ledge was here, otherwise I could have fallen the rest of the way. What makes you think your father could kill me? He commands the elven army, including the wizards. No human would stand a chance against him. Do you want to start a war? Take you prisoner? It never entered my mind. Whew. Thank you, sir. I'd appreciate any help you could give me. How'd you get down there? It's a long story. If you help me out, I'll tell you. How far is the drop? It looks pretty deep. It's the deepest thing in the whole world. Very, very deep. Deeper than you can imagine. There's no way in except straight down, and it goes all the way down to the ground. I'll give it some thought. Don't go anywhere. Very well. I guess I'll wait here. Thank you, sir, for coming to my aid. I would have made it out eventually by myself, but your help sped things up quite a bit. I am at your service, sir. Anything I can do for you, I will. So, why did you climb down there? Not the smartest thing in the world to do. I know. It's a long story. I was searching for the staff. I figured that I wanted it more than anyone who had gone before me. It turns out that I had much more enthusiasm than ability. Enthusiasm won't help you climb down a tree that is many miles high. I found that out. My father forbade me to go after the staff. Too many of my ancestors entered the mall and never returned. I guess he knew what he was talking about. Staff? What staff? I guess everyone isn't familiar with the legend. I'll tell it to you. Ages and ages ago, the gods gave three items to the races. To the dwarves, they gave a golden hammer. To the humans, they gave a golden sword. They gave us a golden staff. The items were supposed to symbolize the races' roles in a new, unified society. The dwarves were to be the workers, the builders. That's what the hammer represented. 
The humans were supposed to be the protectors, hence the sword. We elves were the scholars, the leaders, of course. I guess it didn't quite work out that way. After one of the ancient wars with the humans, my ancestor rebelled against the symbolism of the staff. He cursed the idea of living and working with the other races, so he took the staff and cast it into the maw, never to be seen again. He did it in the heat of anger, and soon regretted it. The staff represented more than the ancient legends, it was also a symbol of leadership. Without it, he chanced losing his power. So my ancestor climbed down into the maw to reclaim the staff. He never returned. Since then, members of the royal family have sought the staff. Every few generations, an elf will climb down into the maw, but not one has ever made it back. We don't even know what's at the bottom. We only know that there is solid ground, and the only way in is straight down. We call it the maw because it swallows up anything that enters it. How could anything be worth risking your life like that? Naturally, I wanted to regain the staff for my people. My father would be so proud of me. They would write songs about me. I would have done what all of my ancestors failed to do. Don't you think that's enough? Of course. Why else would you have done it? I'll tell you why. He wants to impress his girlfriend. That human. Isn't that right? I guess there is someone that I kind of like. And she does happen to be human. A human? Won't your father be a bit angry with your choice? I don't care. At least she's royalty. My father will learn to accept it. He has to. How would possessing the staff help you to get this girl? The humans believe that the items from the gods are symbols of rulership. Every human leader since the beginning has carried the golden sword. The current monarch, the princess's father, has been ill for some time. While he's incapacitated, she has accepted the responsibility of rulership. With it, she has taken the sword. She takes her station very seriously and she'll only consider a suitor of equal status. Because the humans equate rulership with the possession of the godly items, she won't even look in my direction if I don't have the staff. That's all there is to it? You get the staff, and it gets you the girl? Well, not quite. I have to earn her respect, and I'll never get it without the staff. After that, I'm not sure what to do. I think I have to soften her up somehow. Maybe I need something pretty to give her. Even if I do get in her good graces, I won't know what to say. I always get tongue-tied whenever I talk to her. I just don't know the right words. I think if I had something nice to give her and the right words to say, I'd have a chance. Let me get this straight. You need the staff, the right words, and a pretty present? Sounds like you've been thinking about this for quite a while. Forever. I decided that if I couldn't have her, I didn't want to go on living. That's why I tried to get the staff. If I didn't make it, I'd be out of my misery. Enough about this girl. All right. Let's talk about something else. Certainly. What is this place? This is the Maw. Called that because anything that goes in gets swallowed up. It's a sheer drop, ringed by trees on all sides. The only way to the bottom is straight down. It's an evil place. I'll never go near it again. You're at my service, eh? Yes, sir. I'll do anything within reason. Answer any questions you may have. You look new to this land. I'll be glad to help you out. You're the Prince of the Elves? Yes, I am heir to the throne. My father is the ruler of all elves on Prian. If he knew what I had done, I'd never see the light of outdoors again. Do you know anything about a big, ancient building? It has a door with three symbols on it. An ancient building? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Perhaps the wizard can help you. He's been around forever. Have you met this human wizard who supposedly talks to children? Of course. His name is Zifnab. He's a human, but he's the strangest human I've ever met. Though admittedly, I haven't met all that many. He resembles you somewhat, but in place of your black hair with white tips, he has white hair with black tips. Do you know him? I'm not sure. Tell me more about him. He stays out of sight most of the time and only shows up when we have scheduled a meeting. He also makes sure to keep out of the way of adults. 
They'll keep him away from us, he claims. Would you do that? Keep him away from us? Of course not. He sounds harmless enough. Whew, I'm so glad. I would really like you to meet him. He does the most spectacular tricks. Even when we don't understand half of what he says, he's always entertaining. If you'd like, I can lead you to the meeting place. There's a gathering tonight. Wait a second. I have a few more questions for you. Certainly. Very well. Let's be off. I'll accompany you to this gathering of yours. Very good. The meeting should be fun, even though I didn't get the staff. Uh, please follow me. 